I am Kushal Das. I'm a Python code developer and also a director at the Python Software Foundation. Along with this, I am a maintainer of the SecureDrop project. SecureDrop is an open source whistleblower platform which has been deployed over 70 news organizations and NGOs across the globe. It was originally created by late Aaron Swartz and now maintained by the Freedom of the Press Foundation. Freedom of the Press Foundation is another nonprofit based at USA where we protect, defend, and empower public interest journalism in the 21st century. Other than maintaining secure drop, we also have a digital security team who provides digital security training to the journalists at need and also provides newsroom security service. We then also maintain US Press Freedom Tracker website, which tracks any press freedom violation across USA. Now, before anything else, we're going to see where do we use all of these Onion services. SecureDrop is a web application which gets deployed over two servers inside of each and every news orgs. And those servers connect to the Tor network. Now, a source can reach to any journalist of that news org via the source interface, which is the first Onion service. Then, if they want to send some message or they can also upload a file or any document to the same interface, the journalist can access a different Onion service, which is behind client authorization so that only the journalist can view this interface and they can download the encrypted form of the same files and messages, which can be later opened in an air gap computer. The sysadmins of these organizations can still reach these servers over Tor to the SSH system. And again, the system administrators will use the client authorization for these Onion services. Now we're going to see what are the major work we did in 2020 and what we are excited about in 2021. We added the V3 Onion address support. And as you can see in the screenshot, uh, there are instances out there which are already using it. And after we did that, we also added deprecation warning to the journalists if their instance is still using V2 Onion addresses. And it clearly tells them when we are going to disable this V2 Onion address service. Later, with the help of the Tor project and also HTTPS Everywhere rule set, we managed to add Onion name support so that the sources can easily remember an address and they can still reach to the same Onion service for the source interface. Outside of all this secure drop work, we also maintain secure the news website, which tracks HTTPS and Tor Onion service adaptation. And just like HTTPS, we hope in future, this service will allow to more news orgs to adopt Onion services easily. Next, what's coming up in 2021? As I mentioned earlier, we are going to disable V2 Onion address support. We are going to do that in February 2021 so that it still provides some time before the Tor project itself disables V2 Onion service. And along with this, we are also developing a new desktop application for the journalist, which runs on top of the Cubes OS and connects to the same Onion service via client, like along with client authorization, so that only journalists via this application can reach there. They can download all the encrypted material and view them within the single computer. This will reduce the time for their workflow to check any messages in a drastic way. Right now, this service is in beta and even you can go and have a look at the source code on GitHub. But we hope in the coming year, more and more news orgs will actually start using this tool and adopt the newer technologies. If you have any questions, you can ask me on Twitter or in the chat or over email. And after me, I think we have Alison from the Library Freedom Project.